like we all know, a normal dog must feed. A normal dog can get sick. And a normal dog can even die along the line. But when you get a robotic dog, you don't need to spend money on feeding. You don't need to spend money on injections or taking the dog to a doctor. When you get this robotic dog, you've already got it for life. When it stops barking, the ear will start tickling, expecting a sound. You will see that in the next few seconds now, when it stops barking. So when it, when it hears a sharp sound now, you will see the, it will start barking. The whole world is moving with the trend of technology. So Nigeria should not be left out. The first version of this dog was made in 2017 with some set of my student. But we were unable to achieve the target result. Thereafter, I left it for some years to research and see capable students that can work with me. While I was in 100 level, while I came in as an 100 level that got it, when I came in, the current 400 level then, they gave them a project to build a robotic dog. So I was very close to one of them. So I used to pay attention to what they are doing, the, when they were making the structure of the dog, how difficult it was, filing the hands, the legs, the body and everything. I saw, I saw it as a very, very good, a very good innovation to tackle the security of the nation. So at, from that moment, I already had, had it in mind that, okay, I will definitely do something. I will definitely make a difference when I get to this position, which is a 400 level. So for God so good, doing our 300 level, before we went on sideways, we were all allocated to a supervisor. For God so good again, I was allocated under the same supervisors those my senior colleague received then. I went straight to him that, sir, you were the supervisor when so, 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 so people were doing the... Um, robotic dog. I love that idea and I want to make something more better than that. He said, okay, that him too, he's been looking for students to do something like that, the version 2 of the dog. We called it the, the version 2. So my um, supervisor attached me to two other colleagues. And I gave them brief history of how we came about the research. That look, one day I visited my friend and he has a dog. This, my friend, spent heavily on the dog. But one day, a robber came. The dog was barking, and the dog was shot. So he felt bad. From then, I begin to reason that, let us make our dog. When the owner senses that the dog is barking, instead for the owner to go outside, why not let us view it from our bedroom and make it 200 meter yard to the bedroom? How will it look like? They say, okay, if that's the, uh, my inspiration, they would like to take it up. I say, okay. But well, at first, we had a problem with weight because it was built with wood. That's the structural part. That's the bone part was replaced as wooden part. So we had to like remove the wooden part and then think of what can reduce the weight. That was how we came up with aluminium because aluminium is lighter than wood. So we used aluminium. Then along the line, we had to get some equipment, some materials outside the country, which takes two months, a month, weeks sometimes. And most times when they get here, they would have damaged. So we need to like improvise with what we have. And we're also spending money along the line also. So we, know we, were, trying to not, we were trying not to lose money and they were trying to like improvise our brains. We started the project 2019. Started the project for went on sideways. So after our sideways we came back to school. When we were on sideways we were doing the soft like the um, theoretical part of the project because we couldn't have a physical meeting. When we came together in four, our 400 level we had a um, COVID outbreak. But along the line when they allow movement though school was not on session then we have to come to school because we know the, how long it's going to take us to complete our project. We started what we were doing, we continue with it, and for God so good, we were able to complete it even before our final paper will complete the project. 
So he's back in now because he sees my partner there. That's my colleague at the front of the dog. That's my colleague waving his hand. The water dog is seeing my, my colleague clearly from there. Actually, there are so many equipment used to make up this dog. We, we have, in, in terms of the former dog, we, we use wooden, but in, we have to use aluminum this time around so that the dog will not be heavier like before. And then also, we also use lithium battery also, six lithium battery, and each battery has four volts, making 24 volts. And also we add audiovisual to it. That audiovisual is, is what will make the viewer or the owner to see what the dog is viewing. And also this is a transmitter which I'm holding. It has two channels. This is the channel one, and this is channel two. The transmitter is also used to control the sound sensor manually. And it's also used in terms of the locomotion of the robotic dog. Concerning the tail and the mouth, there is a sensor inside, just like our spinal cord. So it's going to give a signal to the tail, and so from there, it's going to communicate with each other quickly and send signal to each other, and then the function will start working. We face a lot of challenges. Number one is the enabling environment. Some of the things and tools we use, we have to improvise. They are not the real tool. Another challenge is finance. This dog is supposed to be moving one location to the other, one location to the other. The cost of actuator, which we have to order if either from Singapore or China, is much. The actuator that will power the two arms, the two legs, is powerful. So we have to use a very low one just for prototype. Because of the poor actuators on the robotic dog, that was how we came up with this prototype to indicate that yes, we can make the robotic dog move if we get the right resource. This is it. The difference here is that this one doesn't have the features that the robotic dog has. There is no sensor there. It doesn't have the sound sensor, the motion sensor, and the HD camera with higher resolution. So it doesn't have anything. The only thing it can do is just to walk. So. Assuming we were able to get the right actuators for that robotic dog, we could have actually make the robotic dog move. Not just a little movement, I mean actually move. The stronger actuator that we can make use of is about $500 each, and we need four of it. So we couldn't afford something like that. Another challenge that it does not have obstacle avoidance, that when it's moving and it come across an obstacle, like a wall, like a wall. This dog cannot turn away from obstacle because we did not put in our prototype obstacle avoidance system. And then we did not put face recognition that let us assume we have anybody living in a particular environment. The dog should recognize them from into that. So the only thing now is for the dog to be aggressive. We should be in the next stage in version three of the dog. We have achieved this. So it's, it's more than a dog, a security machine. Even the silent dog, this dog will pick it. Silent one, very long one. The dog will pick it. So the three guys, they are really hardworking and they really supported the project. In fact, they took it from my project as their project. And I really thank them for leaving themselves and time. My advice to all researchers, enough is enough for depending on other countries. Let's all do things in our own way, after our likeness, with our culture. We have so many brains, so if we come together, we can solve the problem of this country. If it's other program now, you will see Coca-Cola and every day will come and sponsor. Other projects are there. It's only this one gain popularity. And one of them is here. He did a robotic arm that can serve wine and put ice. It will serve the wine, put the ice. If this guy should graduate, is there any job for them? For you to get a good job, you have to be very, very, very intelligent and you must know people. So instead of that, why not make these guys an independent guys? I think they can do something with their hands after graduation. So let me train this one. So that is how we came about the project. We wish to continue this dog to make a version three of it. It's not built for us. It's not built for our supervisor. It was built for people to see it and see a way for them to secure their safe. And 
I think if an investor should come in to invest in this and we're able to continue the version 3, they will see a very, 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 very big reason why this robotic dog is a very, 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 very good idea. The primary objective of setting, setting up a university is to assist the society. And uh, uh, if you look at the security situation in this country today, that uh, final year students of our university decided to look in walls and uh, bring out a project that could serve as a security guard for people. It's a welcome development. The students in the department, um, very many of them did a lot of uh, different projects. But this one you know, is an innovation because uh, they used a robotic dog as a security guard. So for us, we continue to encourage the students. We have established a center for entrepreneurship development. You know, we have most students who exhibit their talent and bring out the best in them. So that by the time they leave the university environment, they can uh, establish and uh, start bringing out the outcome of whatever research they must have done when in the university. And we are encouraging our students to do more.